What's up, everybody? Richard and Adam, True Shot, back today for another reaction video. And today, we got another merch purchase request. Another one? Yes. That Mirage. Is it a Mirage-inspired hoodie? It actually wasn't. This was oh. one of the Find Me a Missing Ooh. Skull uh, t-shirts. Ooh, I like those. Yeah, they... they you they, know, they, I never they, got one of those. I should have I should have ordered one when I ordered my Mirage sweatshirt. Yeah. Yeah, the general public, uh, when we released those, didn't seem too into them, but... Cody did, apparently, because he's got one here for a merch purchase request. If nice. you guys are curious what that is, we're a band. We sell merch, so basically we have this deal, you know, like if you just go over there and buy some merch, you know, drewshot.downwaymerching.com, and you pick up some merch, and you email us or DM us, you approve a purchase, we'll do a request for you right here on the you channel. I want to say the, the website more clearly, sir. Drewshot.downrightmerchinc.com. The link will be in the description as well because... That website is way too long, but we have nothing to do with it. It's a ridiculous <laughs> website, but I hope they don't Did they ever fix the uh, HTML coding for the uh, dropdowns? That's a good question. i got to double-check that. Yeah. By the way, I want to make it clear to everybody, the merch, we do have multiple sizes. Uh, there was a time where, like, when you hit the drop-down menu, it was, like, all whited out. Yeah, so if you, you, you would see a white box unless you hovered over the different sizes, which right. you couldn't see unless you hovered over right. the different sizes right. so that you couldn't th see. This is what happens, you know, when you have a, a merch company. They're great. There's just some little, like, nagging, like, just fix the goddamn thing, will ya? But anyways, yes. head on over there, pick up some merch, let us know, we'll do a request for you. This is what we got today from Cody. All right. He's got us checking out the end at the beginning, their song Plagues featuring Jay from Despite Exile. I believe he's also in uh, hmm. Obey the Brave, I believe. Anyways. I love how you know all this, because I have no idea. <laughs> Nothing beats the stones, man. David Bowie. Big Jagger. We got, a, we got a nice video here to watch. Anthemic March. Yes. I do kind of feel like it's kind of muddy mix on this one again. Yeah. It's a sick scream. It's a good chorus, man.
Did they slow it down? I think so. I don't like that. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay, so that was the end of the beginning. Their track, Plagues. Yeah, man. Featuring Jay of Despite Exile. Uh, all right, and that was a fairly recent track. It said February of last year. Oh, so. sorry. I just closed it. No, it's all right. I, I saw it before you closed it. Uh, February of last year? Yeah, it's so 2020. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't a fan of the uh, the sequencing production in the end. That. <laughs> I don't know. I could see what they were trying to do with it. I don't think it it didn't come across very well for me. Yeah, I don't know. This just kind of felt like... Um, it was one of those one-speed songs. Like, yeah, one-speed, and then, I don't know. It was just like... I never really say this because I usually... I, I'm usually not like a fan of like this type of analysis, so to speak, mm -hmm, but... Mm -hmm. uh, to me, this sounded like a, a lot of other stuff we've heard, just not as good, if that makes sense. Because um, we, you know, we we stick to like the metalcore, deathcore, genty stuff. Mm -hmm. And I usually try not to make that kind of analysis because I think it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, a lot of it's going to sound rough, pretty similar, right? Like in this in this sphere of music that we traditionally react to. Mm -hmm. But to me, this just kind of felt like a, um underdeveloped genty metalcore song um i don't know it was just like i i i felt like there's like there's just like 50 other tracks that i'd rather listen to before this one yeah I, how yeah. big i mean i don't know how big those guys are i have no idea yeah. i have i have no so, clue i mean watch they um, probably had you know three songs released and we're sitting here and analyzing them like they're a Oh, well, world tour band or something. Well, no, it's fine. It's just uh, I don't know. It was it was it wasn't bad. I mean, it's just like it was just like there's just a bunch of other similarly sounding stuff that yeah. I've heard that's just a little bit more. I thought the the scream vocals were really good though. Yeah, no, good, I mean, thick, it was, yeah, um, it, it was it was like I said, it wasn't bad. The screams were were great. Uh, the breakdown, I was like, ah, uh, I mean, it was it was cool, but it was like I, it I wanted. It, yeah, it didn't hit hard for me. Yeah. I think that comes with the production. Um, yeah. So overall, not bad, uh, but just uh, there's a bunch of other tracks I would go to first that are in that sphere of sound. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, anything else you want to add? No. All right. As you see all around us, links to all of our social, well, not links, but usernames, to all of our social media, page, Patreon, and Twitch as well. Links below. Peace.